morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I was going to say Wednesday, but just kidding. It's Thursday. I'm on my way to get my car some gas, then coffee, and hit and work. Uh, I was just talking with the girls, asking them what they wanted to do, like what they were going to do for our workout tonight since we don't have kickboxing for three more weeks. <coughs> so it's been decided. Bikram. I know I did a video last month of how much I hated hot yoga and how much it just was not for me. But you know what? If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And that's exactly what Bikram does. Um, I really don't like it. But at the same time, I love how I feel after I do it. So I'm going to give it another try. And you never know. I may fall in love with it. Or it's just something that I'm going to do for the next three weeks until kickboxing you know, happens again. And then I'll always have it as, as it, wow. And then I'll always have it as an alternative Thursday nights, you know, if she's ever not teaching or whatever, instead of just doing nothing. So that's 6.30 to 8 o'clock tonight, which is kind of late, but that's okay. I can go home before and do things and then go to the gym. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's on my mind. Yesterday's vlog is already uploading. I edit it. I guess it's easier for me to edit like from my phone because when I use my Canon, I have to drag the footage from my memory card to my desktop then import the stuff from my desktop then export it like it's a little it, there's an extra step in the process and it really does bog me down what a weird saying but um whatever i'm just happy that it's uploading already i'm hitting the tj maxx jackpot right now and the whole reason i came here was to get shorts for bikram but i found so much stuff on clearance like look at this tank top i'll have to show you guys but i did get shorts and they're actually pretty long so, and on clearance, which is why I got them. Now I'm just walking around because that's what you do with TJ Maxx. This day totally got away from me and I didn't even get a chance to show you guys what I got from Marshalls. Um, I was planning on going to Bikram all day long and I was preparing myself, like hydrating and stuff. And then I just was texted, Lauren texted me at 4.30, so like a half hour ago, um, that the kickboxing teacher is actually teaching tonight. She wasn't supposed to for like the next three weeks or two weeks. But she is, so obviously that always takes precedence over any other workout for me. So I'm super, super excited. I'm wearing, this is one of the tank tops I actually got today from TJ Maxx. It's just a really bright pink. Matches my new headband I got the other day from Ulala La Boutiques. Um, and then these are the other things I got. These are the shorts that I picked up for yoga that I'm actually not wearing. This is my favorite purchase of the day. This was on clearance and it has this really, really pretty um, doily like back. And then it comes down to the bottom as well. I love it. I love that it has this like moisture wicking see-through material in the back. So like you won't get too hot. And then I got these capris, um, which were 20 bucks. So I did really, really well. I also got um, a, another Tara's Way. This time I got it specifically for Becky because if you guys remember, she was with me last time and we couldn't get two. So I gave her... I texted her, I was like, do you want me to pick it up for you? It's here, I don't need it. Um, so I got that. And then, look, this is my new Erin Condren um, 2013, well, 2014 calendar. Uh, these are, like, I'm obsessed with Erin Condren right now. I want to order a life planner in the worst way. And she's actually sent a 10, you get a $10 gift card with every order that you um, make, which is awesome because her stuff is very expensive. The life planner is very involved, um, but it is $50, which is why I like, I've had it in my cart. I've redesigned it so many times um, in the past few weeks, and I just keep bailing out at the last second. But now that I have this $10 coupon uh, gift card, it's probably going to happen. Um, I got a $10 gift card that I used on the calendar through signing up for the first time. If you go on her website and sign up, you get like $10 off. I don't really know how I did it, but I did. Uh, I actually found out about Erin Condren through um, My Housewife Life, aka Jen, who I love watching her vlogs and stuff. And she has a bunch of channels here on YouTube, like the Busy Bee Buzz, the Busy Bee, something else. I don't know. So that's what's going on. I love the calendar. I told Eddie, I was like, I don't know how we're going to set it up yet. I'm thinking like two little hooks and then like a, a rod almost, like a pretty rod. And we're going to mount it in... Um, the kitchen because we actually just decided today that we will be staying here for another year even though we have like a long time before our lease is up um, it's something that we've been thinking about and talking about oh sorry one more thing 
before I forget, I got this sign at Marshall's also. Um, I'm, obviously, it's still fall on my mantle, but I'm thinking it's going to go here, and I kind of have a design that I want to do on the fireplace with the ornaments that I got at Target. Um, I just haven't decorated it yet because it's still way too soon. This tank top I got in an extra large, and it's like really oddly loose up in the bust area. Whatever, it's fine. It was $7. I can't really complain about it. Um, I'm in a really great mood. Like Becky was actually just here because she needed to borrow our shower. She doesn't have any oil at the moment or she does. She just got it and couldn't use her hot water. So obviously we're going to let her shower here. Um, and like I was just saying, I was like, I had such a great day. I'm in such a great mood and I just feel really good. I don't know. I'm like, you know, when you just have those days when you're just really happy, I'm having one of those days and I'm going to ride it all the way through. And then to find out unexpectedly that I'm going to be going kickboxing is amazing. Um, I am going to the gym in a few minutes because I'm going to get in. I'm going to walk beforehand. I'm not going to, Sarah's going to run for her miles for the week and I'm going to walk next to her because I can't run, obviously. And then kickbox. So yeah, it's time to hit the gym. I learned a very valuable lesson tonight in the gym. Uh, I thought that maybe I could, oh, I still have black. I have black streaming down my face. I'm so emo. Um, I thought that I could run. I just, you know, I was with Sarah and she was running on the treadmill. I was walking on an incline and I was like, you know what? I could probably run. I'm, I've been fine. My knees have been really good. Yeah, well, I paid for that big time. Um, sorry, I'm like cleaning up a little bit before I sit down to ice. I paid for that big time all throughout kickboxing. I was in so much pain. The socks I was wearing were also too thick for my sneakers. So I, um... I had to take them off halfway through the class. And after the class was over, uh, the teacher came up to me and was like, what is going on with you? Like, she knew. She know, like, she knows us, the girls that are always in her classes. She knows us pretty well by now. And, um, you know, I work out with her four days a week for three years now. So I said to her, I was like, my only response was I hate my life. Because it's just really frustrating to have an injury that just won't go away. And yes, I know there are things I could do to make it go away, to heal it myself and, you know, be smarter, but I'm not going to give up my workouts. I did it once. Max, baby, you gotta move. You can't lay on mommy's blanket. Thank you. Um, oh, my water. Yeah. So sorry guys. I'm like thinking it and vlogging. That's how I roll. But, uh, I already did the whole giving up my workout thing and modifying and what have you last year when I went through physical therapy and it was awful. It fixed my one knee and then I got injured in the other. I do want to go back to physical therapy, but I've been doing so good. It was until this cold weather kicked in this week that I have the issue again. So I'm icing it now. I, uh, I'm going to take it easy and I just, you know, I have to know my limits and I don't even like running. It's just with this challenge that we're doing, I thought it would be Sorry, my eyes looked really weird to me for a second. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not used to looking at myself anymore. So I thought with this challenge that it would... I, I could do it. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just really frustrated right now um, with myself and my body. And it could be worse. I'm still able to do the workouts I want to do. I don't even like running. So now I have a reason not to do it. I have an excuse. Okay. So Vampire Diaries was super good real good. It was started off pretty slow, but it was really good. Um, obviously I just said it three times. It was really good. Four. Eddie made an amazing dinner, which I ate during the Vampire Diaries. Um, but my phone is dying, so it's plugged in right now. Watching Glee, and I'm going to call it a night. So I hope you all had a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow. I was at the gym and there was a personal trainer there. He was working with people and, uh, all of a sudden he starts screaming. And sure enough, I'm um, sitting there and all of a sudden this siren goes off and there's like these traffic lights on the wall and they turned red.